Good morning, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us in the next of our series of ASSC Talks. As you'll know only too well, Cypher Catering continues to face incredibly challenging times with recovery from the pandemic, and now in light of the recent announcement that short-term let licensing has been approved by Parliament. Whilst it's going to be an ongoing focus for us here at the SSC, we also want to bring some positivity to you all and look at ways that we can help you and your business generate quality repeat bookings and give you some ideas to improve guest experience and increase revenue. So to help us focus on doing just that, I'm delighted to introduce a really valuable talk today, which is kindly sponsored by our friends at Superhog. We'll be focusing on using technology to build relationships and drive direct bookings, plus a whole wealth of tips and advice around that. We're shaking it up a bit today. Today's talk is a little bit different. We're kicking off with a pre-recorded discussion, followed by a live Q&A session. This is because Steve is actually happily fast asleep on the other side of the world. He's in Vancouver and I'm jealous. So joining us today, we've got three very special guests. Firstly, I'd like to welcome Leo Watson, Superhog's co-founder and VP of Growth. Leo became part of the founding team at Superhog in 2019, after having spent seven years running the supply function at One Fine Stay. He's got a deep understanding of and enormous passion for the vacation rental industry. And in his role as VP of Growth, he works very closely with operators and hosts, helping them to unlock growth and streamline operations by using Superhog, which combines guest screening and also embedded insurance. Also joining us this morning is Robin Morris, director and founder of Bookster, Robin has applied his passion of creating easy to use technology, and it is, to the ever-changing holiday rentals market. And finally, Steve Davis, who's asleep, is Chief Executive of Aperto Guest Technologies. He's got over 25 years of management experience in strategic planning, marketing and sales of consumer and technology products. If you've got any questions during the session, please add them to the chat. And this session will be being recorded. So if you want to catch up with anything afterwards, you can do that. Leo, I think I'm going to hand over to you at this point so that you can introduce the video over to you. Thanks, Fiona. Um, uh, Superhog, very proud sponsor of this episode or this this edition. Um, I see there's a there's a. I should have sent Fiona a Superhog banner, shouldn't I, to go alongside that? This sort of this, this it's ready there. Superhog could have fit in next to caramel wafers very nicely, but never next mind. time, uh, alas. Um, Thank you. We're, we're uh, honoured to be part of the ASSC and, and honoured to, to come and do this today. So I had the pleasure of being joined by uh, Steve Davis and Robin Morris, um, uh, because Steve obviously would have been the middle, the middle of the night for him. So we had a, a last week we did a pre-recorded session. One of the things we said when we were planning it was try and look the same as you looked in the session. And, and I didn't follow my own advice. So I decided to get a haircut in between. So we had to come clean and say, look, it is it is definitely pre-recorded. But I think Robin has pretty much matched the same outfit, the same haircut, same background. So so well done, Robin. Uh, but yeah, we, without further ado, Alex is going to uh, press play. We will all mute ourselves and turn our cameras off just to help the bandwidth. And then uh, we'll look forward to doing a QA and a afterwards. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome to Superhawk's ASSC webinar. Um, we are here today to answer the following question, which is how can you streamline and protect your business to stay ahead of the competition? Joining me today are two giants of the industry, literal giants, you can't tell because of the Zoom video, Mr. Steve Davis, CEO of Operto, and genuine Scotsman, Robin Morris, MD of Bookster. Chaps, how are you? Brilliant. Thanks for having us on today. Yeah, great. Yeah, thanks for having us. Perfect. Now, obviously, myself and Robin are keeping it glamorous, being in London and Edinburgh, respectively. Steve, can you compete? Where are you in the world? I am tuning in this morning uh, from sunny Los Angeles. Uh, you know, I've been doing a little bit of a bit of a a travel uh, roadshow through the United States uh, in the last couple of weeks. But um, yeah, looking forward. We're actually based up in Vancouver, out in Canada, which is not sunny and it rains constantly. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we are, uh, that's where we're based out of. But we're, you know, we're actually moving over your way and opening up new offices in Europe this uh, this quarter. So really excited to uh, to be on the show today. Thanks. Amazing and really important. We're all really keen to get to know the ASSE members more, which is why we're doing this today. So hi. 
Quite right. Um, Steve and I have been spending increasingly more time uh, drinking our way around Europe. It's been it, it's been great fun. So more of that, please. It can continue. Um, Steve, for anyone who doesn't know, can you tell us, uh, can you give a brief or as long as you want intro into Operto and how you help property managers streamline, especially their check-in process through the use of technology? Absolutely. So just as a, as a starting point, Operto is actually the Italian verb to open. So that is where how we got our name. Uh, and our company is primarily in um, smart automation and IoT. And, and, you, and primarily within that bucket is really around access control, smart thermostats, and helping the guest um, journey from sort of pre-stay, in-stay, and post-stay. So ensuring that from the time that the guest makes a reservation, whether regardless of the reservation channel that it comes through, we can pull all that guest data down using a service like yourselves, do some guest verification and insurance policies, and then being able to ensure that the guest smoothly gets into the property and that you as the owner know when the guest has checked in, when they've checked out, and the things that are going on across your property portfolio. So, so really it's all about automation, but it's all about how do you really make the guest experience magical by introducing technology to not only speed up efficiency, but also to those little magical moments to ensure that it's just smooth and, and memorable. Fantastic. Um, I'd imagine the use of your software is um, is revolutionary for property managers in terms of unlocking growth potential, right? Like, because surely you must encounter a lot of clients that are still doing face-to-face physical check-ins when when they start speaking with you. Absolutely. So, especially when when you're looking at at sort of the vacation rental, short-term rental market, it's really really difficult to scale your business beyond a few properties without technology. Because at the end of the day, if you're physically handing off keys to someone, um, you can only be in so many places at one time, dropping off keys, picking up keys, et cetera. Um, Using lock boxes where the code never changes is inherently just not very secure at all. Um, You know, it's nothing stopping a guest that stayed with you a month ago to come back and enter the the property. Um, You know, so there's there's security concerns there. But really, again, for, for a property manager, what we want you to be able to focus on is like focus on building your business, not on actually running your business, which is the day to day. The other thing that Operto does, um, we actually have a housekeeping and maintenance um, a leg to our to sort of our, our broader stool. And then really what that allows is so the, the moment that a guest checks in, we, housekeeping gets alerted. And when the guest checks out, we know that they've checked out, whether it's early or they've requested a longer stay and so that we can get in cleaning services much, much quicker. So every, the whole ecosystem is really talking to each other. So it's, it's taking care of sort of, again, sort of before the guest arrives doing, you know, using things like super hog, doing guest verification and, and insurance. How do you ensure that the guest has an amazing stay in stay? So the opportunity for a guest to, to rent things off the, off you that might be on your property, such as bicycles or, or surfboards or wherever you might be. Uh, and then post day, because we have the digital key, we can actually start to collect customer information um, and then start to build sort of custom CRM systems for our for, for, our, um, for um, our partners so that they can then keep in touch with the guests once they've left and hopefully get a direct booking the next time. So, you know, so we really look at the whole guest journey as a, as a from the moment that you make that reservation to the moment that you close the door and head home. Operto takes care of that entire journey and we plug people in along that journey, technology providers, the super hogs of the world, to smooth that whole um, that journey out. I, I really like that. There's a lot to unpack there, isn't there? But it's, it's definitely finding a way to ramp up people's direct booking quota that is so, so, so important. So you're, you're essentially providing them then with that, with that data to go and retarget, right? That, that's just part of the flow. Absolutely. Because they're selling. Absolutely. So for sure. So before they even come on property, um, we get who they are. So if you, if you book through, say, like a booking.com, um, that's a masked email address that you're getting. You don't know who the guest is. You might know their first name, last name, but you know nothing about them. We actually capture all that guest data because we hold the digital key. We can capture all of that before they even arrive. So think of this. If, if you are staying on property and it's two weeks until you go, we will issue that guest, um, uh, the guest portal. We'll capture all their, their data. We'll do any background checks any um, you know, insurance you know, things that they want. And then they can actually start to learn about the property before they even come. So it's like a digital guest book on their phone, amenities, things to do, places to eat, 
people, you know, things to see. And so what it allows you to do is to start to interact with the guest before they come. There's two-way messaging in the application itself so that the guests can start to really feel like the day that they land, they land and they come to your property that they know kind of what's going on. There's not, they're not jumping onto Yelp and other um, websites to figure out how they're, what they're going to do on their stay. So again, it's really about those, you know what the guest is going to do. They want to come, they want to be able to get onto the property. They want to be able to start to start their vacation quickly. And with Operto, what we are allowing to, them to do using IOT and these sort of smart um, devices is to really start their vacation before they've even arrived. Um, yeah, it's really magical. Very, very cool. And let's talk more about those um, upsells that can happen in a stay. So you mentioned surfing. Sure. I'm probably more of a kind of sun lounger when I'm on holiday. But, um, you know, I, I, I'd be tempted by some sort of cocktail masterclass or something like that. that that's how you get me interested. Um, For sure. Uh, so, yeah, can you speak a bit more about that, please? Absolutely. So, you know, as a, as a property owner or a host, you know, the, 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 the golden question is how, how do I – you know, if someone's paying me a hundred pounds for for the night, how do I make how do I get it so that the person actually ends up paying say 120, 125, 130 pounds? And where are those opportunities for cross sells and sort of upsells in stay? So, for instance, we always use the the analogy of like a, a beach vacation. So, if I was going down to say Spain or, or or anywhere, and and I you know open the garage and I look in and there's you know the owner has you know, surfboards and they've got like dune buggies and mountain bikes and all the different sort of activities that are going on in the, in the, in the local town. Um, even just bicycles, what we can do is you can say, you know what, do you want to rent those bicycles? It's three quid a day, right? It's five quid a day. And we can process all those transactions in our application so that you, if you're the owner, now if someone's rented your bikes for the day, they don't have to go into the town and rent bikes off the local rental shop. You can actually capture that so that the guy Best. Again, it's much more convenient. They don't have to go hacking through town to go find the local shop. Um, and they can, again, sort of access all those things. So everyone's happy. The guest is happier, right? Lower friction. The owner's obviously happier because they're making more money. And everyone's just the, the net net is that everyone's, you know, having a, a more uh, a more enjoyable experience. So this, and those are the opportunities to really not only make more money off the people that are staying with you, but also ensure that they, they just go, wow, that was really amazing how I never had to go out and you know, go and rent stuff. It was all at the house or it was all at the cottage. And and, and increasingly we're seeing our, our customers start to um, to take advantage of those kind of technology advancements through e-commerce um, that we're providing. I think it's fantastic because it's it's quite rightly shining the light on the property management business that is doing the vast majority of the heavy lifting, heavy lifting to get that guest in the property and make sure they have a thoroughly good time, right? It's shining a light and saying, look, you know, you can upsell, you can make more revenue, and you can also um, increase brand awareness and get that person to come back. So great talk. Yeah. Great talk. yeah, and it's not really just about making more money again. It's like, it's what we're finding through our through our users is that the you know, rating scores are going up, you know, review scores are going up. Everyone is like, literally everyone is winning because you're able to control the guest experience through a very simple application that they don't need to download to their phone that is live on their phone, like a web application. Um, it tells them, you know, where everything is, what the Wi-Fi password is, again, what to do in town and places to see and people to talk to and all the rest of it. And then it ties in again, you know, all the amenities and any of the, those things that you know, as the, as the host that they're going to want to see while they're in town. Well, now you can enable all of it through Operto so that they just have this like really seamless experience. It's fantastic. And you know, in advance that the guest is safe because they've gone through that wonderful advanced guest. Yeah, I mean, it's it's it's, it's a really amazing, yeah, to, to have Superhog as a, as a partner and to, you know, to see more and more people taking up the opportunity to be able to do some basic guest verification and obviously adding insurance policies to their stake. So it's it the whole, I'd like to think that we are, all our technologies are incredibly complementary from the moment that they make that booking all the way to their, they get home. You know, there's all these little pieces that can be tied together to create guest magic. I think that's a lovely way of putting it. I really do. Um, Robin, I'm, I'm looking to you here because one of the things that Operto do, which I'm sure you know well, being an Edinburgh resident, is the scourge mm -hmm. of the key box. I mean, imagine if Operto could just take over the whole of Edinburgh and get rid of every key box. That would keep the council pretty happy, right? It would. It would, although, um, yeah, a bit late for that, I suppose. 
<laughs> in terms of the new regulations and things. But um, yes, it, it definitely would. And it, it you know, would genuinely uh, clean up some of those uh, doors, et cetera. And as you say, it's more secure. It's um, uh, more convenient for the guests. They get that reassurance that uh, they know how to get in before they get there. They're not worried about trying to find a key box, you know, somewhere they don't know where it might be or, you know, is it, uh, you know, sometimes these things are kind of clamped to railings or they're yeah. hidden away or whatever. So, yeah, I think that um, uh, being able to have that information in advance um, and there's a kind of a little bit of overlap with Bookster as well. So we've got a little bit of that going on, um, you know, where you can see, you um, uh, you know, get a bit of information about your booking, about your stay, about how to get in, about how to operate some of the things in the in you know in your apartment or holiday rental. Um, but yeah, I'm sort of uh, fascinated by the the kind of um, Internet of Things stuff as well. I don't know how much of that you guys have got going on because that that's pretty cool too. And not the bookstore actually has any of that at the moment, <laughs> but. <laughs> But yeah, my, uh, I like it, Robin. Yeah, I, I, yeah but um, you know, the kind of remote heating and lighting and access and all that stuff. Um, there's just some the technology and the physical devices. They're just um, the, the choice and the availability of those things has kind of mushroomed over the last uh, four or five years. So um, you know, being able to utilize that in your holiday rental is is fantastic. I think the, the, the key the key sentiment there, I think, as well, is giving choice, right? So that must be quite a central thing for you at Bookster, is making sure that you choose sort of carefully who you partner with to enable your property management clients to plug in and have the have the guest booking and the or, you know everything that goes alongside it, the experience that that, that they want to promote. Yeah, I mean, I suppose um, so. Yeah, a bit a bit of background on, on us as well. The SSC members might be might be a bit more familiar with us, but we we started um, in about 2009 in terms of Bookster uh, here in Edinburgh, um, and we were a property management system. Um, we kind of started out just as a, as a book now button, allowing holiday rentals to take bookings through their website, and it's kind of evolved from there, I suppose. So uh, we now have self-service websites, custom websites, channel management, so connecting to the likes of booking.com or uh, TripAdvisor, Verbal, et cetera. Um, and as, as you're kind of alluding to there, it's, um, Leo, right from the start, what we wanted to do was uh, make it self-service, make it easy to sign up to. I mean, this was kind of, you know, in 2009, this was, didn't really exist. So you could go in, you can do everything yourself as a property manager. You can set it all up yourself, connect to Payment Gateway. Um, and as part of that, it is, it is kind of critical that, um, that when you're inside Bookster, it's very simple to say, enable um, a super hog and, and get that set up with, the minimal amount of, of effort and fuss. So, and that, that's the same with like the channel management or um, if you're creating a template website or whatever. So yeah, it's it's absolutely um, critical that, that that people can do that on their own, even though we, you know, we do try to provide, um, you know, as much support as possible, but um, we're trying to give them the tools to do it um, by themselves. Um, and, you know, um, that's basically the key to it. And but we do provide other services like SEO, marketing, and, and all sorts of other things as well. But yeah, that, that, that kind of uh, fantastic. Is the, is well, what, what, what do you think is the is the feature that gets people through the door that gets property managers saying, "I'm, I'm going to work with Buxter"? Um, I think um, I think a lot of the time because it's coming through client referrals, a lot of it's it's our level of support actually. So. So although, you know, you can very easily sign up to yourself and you can um, do those things, the thing that typically gets people excited about using us is that our other clients have said, oh, you know, they're so available, they're so easy to use, it's a, you know, we can get set up so quickly um, and it's doing all the things that we expect it to do. So I would say, you know, that that's probably the number one. Um, but... Uh, I suppose that's that's because those are the clients we're talking to that are telling us that the ones that we that just do it all on their own. 
<laughs> um, maybe the reason they got through the door was yeah was because they could do it themselves i suppose yeah I, I think you're 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 the guy to talk to about efficiencies right because you've set the whole process up to make sure that it can run really really smoothly for for your property managers so yeah what, a, anything on the point around how to set up your tech stack so that it is with working for you in that way to free you up to go and do the the, the thing that you're good at which is running your business yeah i mean um so i think especially for people that are starting out um a the things that, that they typically spend a lot of time doing are maybe chasing guests for payments. So, so they might be, you know, if they've only got a few properties, one or two properties, or even five properties or something, they may just be thinking, oh, I'll just do this myself and I can chase guests for the payments myself and I can do it through, you know, backs payments or something like that. Um, but, but something like Bookstore will... Uh, automate that process without you really having to think about it is um, it's literally just a checkbox if you know I think it's even ticked by default you know when you get a booking you get an initial payment and Bookster then essentially chases that up um, and and that can take that takes a whole lot of effort out, out there straight away um, so and, and that communication process as well between um, getting the guest uh, letting the guests know what's going on and getting them into like a guest area where they can find out information about their stay. Um, also, um, you know, if you are connected up to something like Superhog, that's kind of automated too. So, you know, you're 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 kind of giving the guest the opportunity to uh, rather than make a damage deposit payment, just you know, use Superhog instead, and that's all automated. Um, and then. Uh, you can also sort of be collecting um, email addresses uh, to use them in an automated way as well. So you're not spending, you know, hours and hours collecting that, that data and trying to uh, automate, say, follow up um, uh, reviews or you know, follow up emails, etc. Um, and the, the other thing that we've got that that uh, is is these template websites. So if you don't have a website, which is sort of insane, or you've got one that you'd, <laughs> you're not very, uh, uh, not very proud of, um, literally within five minutes, you could have something up in Bookster. And we know they work really, really well. So, um, you know, they're kind of very structured, but uh, if you're starting out or you've got a website that you're you know, looking to improve, you know, you can do that in Bookster super, super quick. Um, and that you know that can that, that's taking an enormous amount of time and effort off uh, off your hands as well. I think that the direct booking stuff is so 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 important, and and I'm sure both of you have noticed this becoming uh, more openly discussed by property management clients in the last maybe even just since COVID. More people are aware of the fact they can't rely on 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 on, on the big platforms to get them bookings, right? That's right. Yeah, um, I think. Yeah, I think the initial sort of um, reaction of Booking.com, Airbnb, some of these guys to COVID has spooked a lot of people as well. Um, there was a kind of initial, um, you know, sort of they, they were taking the guests side, which is fair enough. Um, but uh, that there, there certainly was um, that that certainly happened, and I think um, that has definitely changed people's attitude from. Uh, yeah, maybe relying on those OTAs to looking, how do I get direct bookings? How do I attract people to my website? Um, so, I mean, I suppose what I would say there is, you know, it, it, it's a lot of the time it's a skill set that you're not necessarily familiar with, but, it, you know, um, getting links to your site, having a website that's fast, having a website that has, you know, it's easy to book on. Um, you know, asking asking people like us, you know, reaching out and saying, "How do I get my site uh, out there? How do I drive people to it?" Um, you know, and as uh, Steve was saying there as well, in terms of um, collecting real email addresses rather than the masked ones that you're getting from some of the OTAs. Um, being able to market to them in the future and getting their permission and um, being able to drive them to your website, knowing that it can, 
you know, it, it's a good way for people to book and they will book. And it's, um, yeah, that that's critical as well. And I think, Leo, Leo, if I can just add, add one point in there, there is a direct correlation between technology and direct bookings. So if you, because if you think about it, you have, if, if the guest is coming to stay with you for say two days or three days, you have a very special window there of time when you can actually build a per, like a relationship with the guest. And that doesn't mean that you necessarily have to be on-prem shaking their hand, but with, with things, with, with technology such as like, um, like, like smart locks where you know that the guest is literally just coded in and just opened the door, you can send them a message, say, Hey, welcome to the welcome. Um, what are your first impressions of the property? And like these, this is a list of the top five things that you should do. You know, this is the Wi-Fi code. This is like, you know, where the toaster is or the, the iron or what, all the things that you need, you know, that they want to know. And then you can start to actually interact with the guest and build a relationship so that if in their own mind that they're planning on coming back next summer because they just loved your place, there is absolutely no reason for them to go back and book that through an OTA. Mm -hmm. you, you now have all their details. You remember their stay. You can send them a message afterwards and saying, you know what? Booking.com is charging me 20% off the top to take that reservation. You know what? Why don't I give you a 10% discount if you book for the same week this time next year? And all and technology allows you to use that very special captive moment with the guest and be able to drive revenue, drive experience, drive all of it. But it's only possible through through technology, Bookster, Operto, or any other number of, of providers. So I think that that's really where the, the magic is, is you need to, to think of this as it's, it's an investment, but it, the ROI on the investment is immediate. It is like it's palpable and tangible from literally from day one. Uh, I think, yeah, I think it's a very good, it's a very good point. And it, it, you know, you're using it as a way to showcase who you are. You're using it as a way to go um, above and beyond what your competition is doing. And that's going to make um, your business grow. And ultimately it's, it's the way the industry is going. Like we have to move in that direction. It's kind of like, you know, I, I think that an OTA booking is a fantastic introduction. You know, it's like, it, it, it's, sure. it's a marketing lead, right? You know, you, it's 10% and it's a marketing lead. It's like featuring in a, in a, in a, in a brochure in the nineties, right? Like it's like, you know, <laughs> but, but you should then be able to convert that guest and get them back in your property. And so what, what yeah. I agree completely with what you're saying. One of the key ways I think you can do that is by building trust. And I, and I would say that, right. But you can have that, in your direct booking website or through, you know, through um, Operto or something of that nature is a reference to the fact that you're working with Superhog. And that, mm -hmm. from a guest point of view, will give them the peace of mind that you are a professional actor in the industry. Now, it's the part of our business that we actually talk about less because we focus on the guest screening that we do and all of the protection that sits behind that guest screening. But actually, if if I'm a guest and I'm booking on a site and I see that the, 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 the business itself is super verified, I think that's powerful, especially if it's a, you know, it's a professional website with all those key things done and you know, the, the opportunity to upsell experiences to them through someone like Operto. You know, that really just builds your image yeah. as a professional brand. Absolutely. I think, you know, especially with COVID and sort of the, the shifting traveling profile of like a lot of folks who traditionally would have gone to a hotel and have sort of hotel-esque expectations around security and experience and cleanliness and all the rest of it. As the short-term rental, vacation rental market, I think it's, it's we're beholden or we're, we're, the responsibility is really on, upon us to, <clears throat> to take this as an opportunity and say, okay, how, what are the elements of a hotel stay that we can now provide in a much more, like in a, in a way that the guest is looking for? They're looking for like those, those small those small hotel things in a different sort of setting. And I think that like, again, like the insurance and the, the guest screening and the, and the automation and the PMSs and all these pieces that plug in allow us to now compete with hotel um, for that, that sort of new traveler who's maybe bringing their family along, staying for longer periods of time, working from, you know, working on vacation, et cetera. So I think it's really exciting. Yeah, and there's a huge opportunity. I think um, you're right, Leo. The trust signals, um, which is something like a super hog, um, not just the process that you go through, but also 
um, you know, the branding and the and just sort of uh, signaling that that you are you know connected to this um, pet verification process. Mm-hmm. Um, those kinds of trust signals on your website are very very important. So. Um, uh, you know, say, for example, making sure that if you're a member of the SSC, you've got the badge there that says you're a member of the SSC. If you take payments through Stripe, you've got a thing there that says you're taking your payments through Stripe. Or uh, if you're, um, um, there's other kind of more social proof kind of stuff that you would, that would be very important to building up a sort of trust uh, with a potential guest, um, uh, you know, um, uh, quotes from your, your guest, uh, your guest book or reviews from a, Trip advisor, etc. But though you're you're right, Leo. It's kind of uh, you know building up that trust is is important, um, and that trust is is kind of the thing that um, you know a booking.com or a big hotel brand, Steve. Like you're saying, that's kind of what they're trading on, really. A lot of the time, sure. it's not not the, you know uh, necessarily the quality of the accommodation, but they're trading on um, you know the brand and the the trust element and you know but you can build up a lot of that on your site so that um uh, people have that confidence to book direct when they do land on your site so an element we haven't mentioned yet is is overzealous regulation which unfortunately uh, exists uh, around around the world now steve you know more, um, more a lot more about what's going on in north america in general obviously robin and i can talk about the uk and scotland till we're blue in the face it's a pain um i think that one thing that really discredits the argument that this is a big company game it's airbnb booking.com verbo right you know it's and you're and it's an attack on on just big business is if people grow um, their own direct follower base build their own direct website and showcase that they are as a you know local provider the one responsible for the holiday and i think that's a huge tool behind um, to try and prevent overzealous regulation because it's quite i think it becomes harder for policymakers to attack local business versus Airbnb, booking.com, et cetera, you know? Yeah, I mean, we, we over, uh, I'm actually, I have their hat right here, but I mean, we've got, we've got advocacy groups like Rent Responsibly <laughs> over here. In, perfect, in perfect America. timing. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, and, uh, you know, which we, we sponsor and we're huge advocates of them and really trying to help, you know, again, you know, cities and towns and municipalities really get it ahead of this whole, this whole, um, a regulatory nightmare that is sort of brewing up in a lot of places. I think what we're the, the stance that we're taking is that you know we can ultimately provide a much more safe stay for the guest through a tech through technology stack, right? So even like a partner, another partner of ours we haven't mentioned today, like a noise aware, right? Like noise aware works within the Operto system to do to basically know when the the guest is is having a party in their in their place. It it will monitor you know, frequencies and it'll be able to tell you, you know, this is what's happening on the property. And if, and if it's sustained noise and you know that someone is doing bad things on your property, it will alert the police, right? So it allows, you know, for, for, and it alerts the guests to say, hey, you know what, the decibel levels are too high. Like we need to, you need to bring it down because, you know, it's 10 p.m., whatever, noise noise alerts or whatever. So this is the, these are the the, the pieces that, that the vacation rental, short-term rental market, like, the technologies that are coming out of our space to get ahead of these major challenges and, and like things like that, like even here in like Arizona and Scottsdale, they have just said that, you know, you have to have some sort of noise um, monitoring device um, as part of your sort of ticket to play to go on Airbnb and to go into some of these OTAs because they don't want the, the owner to be able to go like, you know what, I don't really care if people are, are what they're doing as long as they're paying me the money. And so again, like, technology there's so much great tech out there that allows you to run a very responsible very professionally run business and plug these very simple pieces into your into your um your property to like get ahead of all this stuff and so and and the regulatory the regulatory wave is only just starting um and 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 i think that you know as the assc and and other you know and i don't really know what's going on in europe to be honest is um it, it's it's not going anywhere, so we might as well just get ahead of it and and really start to understand it and really um, work with local um, you know government to to promote best practices and to really make sure that everyone's safe, including the property owner. I think it's a good point. Uh, we at Superhog are fixated on this idea that prevention is better than cure, right? So, hundred percent. 
you know, can we, um, you know, through the use of technology, stop the party from happening? And the answer is yes. And, you know, you, you, have to use, you have to use a variety of, you know, a variety of products to, to build your perfect check-in flow and to build your perfect business. But what it does is I'm driven by this mission that I don't want people to think that by booking a vacation rental, it's an easy ticket to having a party or doing oh, sure. illegal activity. So, you know, for us, that's that's the sort of first step here is that, yes, we offer, as you both know, because, you know, we partner with you, we offer the financial protection behind um, the bookings. You know, we can go up to $5 for million, sure. $5 million of damage protection. We actually don't want to even get to that point, you know, and by using our system, the screening kit that we have and biometric mm. facial recognition software mixed with um, burner phone mm. checking, email verification, database searches, we can we can get that deliberately problematic guest to go and book elsewhere or not book at all. And that we and that I think is what's genuinely really, really exciting about what about what we do. And we're trying to answer three questions simultaneously, which is as a property manager, do you know who you're dealing with? So how, how can we help you? And that's where our screening technology comes in. Can you trust them? That's where the intelligent algorithm that mixes what we do puts together a, a yes or no. And if we say no, don't take the booking, that means we've got really good reason from a previous experience <coughs> or indications of fraud that you should not be taking that booking. And then finally, what happens if something goes wrong in that property? And you know, it, it, in our opinion, it's not enough just to provide screening software for people. You actually need to go the whole hog pardon the pun, and <laughs> make sure that you that you come good and pay for damage when it happens. And what Superhog, I think, are fantastic at doing is getting guests to actually pay it for it themselves, because there's a reason. There's a reason to engage with us and make sure that you're not um, falling foul of our, our watch list, but also just sorting things out. So, you know, within our guarantees, we have a virtual deposit, so you can eradicate the need to take a damage deposit, which I know it's something that you know is really appealing to many property owners. We'll come back to that. And then the third is chargebacks. Like I say, our system should stop chargebacks from even happening. But if they do happen, we will make sure that financially you're reimbursed. So it yes. really is three and one, right? It's a let's prevent it from even happening. When it when it does, let's in, let's improve your guest experience so your guest feels like they're booking with a professional property manager who's taking all this seriously. And thirdly, let us deal with the issues when they arise. Absolutely. I mean, you're it, it, on the off chance that they go through the super hog process and, and a bad actor does manage to get through the, the, the filter there. You have you have things like noise aware that are sitting there. And if someone throws a, a, a hens party or a stag party on your property, I mean, they will it, it, within two minutes. It's it's over. It's the alerts are out. And, the you know, the managers being like, these are the ma amazing things that we can help to protect the, the the asset owner but also to ensure that like you know again if someone has nefarious ends uh, through their booking that we can we can really take care of that and i think that goes into the wider point which i think is relevant to all our businesses is um you know protect future revenue make sure that you know you're not having to deal with things after the fact and pay thousands you know, loss of business loss of growth like unlock growth by yeah. taking, mm -hmm. taking these softwares you know yeah, and I think um, the trust and confidence that we were talking about before with direct bookings, but also, you know, if you're looking to expand your business and get new property owners to, you know, to pass properties over for you to rent, um, they need that confidence that you're a professional operator, that you, you know, you're not going to annoy the neighbours or whatever, et cetera, too. So, um, yeah, something like Superhog, Noise Aware, et cetera, um, it, it's helping you uh, grow your um, grow the number of properties that you that you can manage as well. Unlocking growth, I I, I completely agree. Um, chaps, what um, one of the one of the common things I think that comes up in any discussion around embedding new technology is is the price. Um, you know, like in, 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 I, I I would say that it's uh, it's better to spend a penny up front than a pound later on. Um, but I think what we've demonstrated a lot on this call is that actually, you know, by investing, you will reap through it, you will reap the benefits of it. And I, I'm sure you both agree with that, with that sentiment. Absolutely. And I think that the main the main thing for your, you know, for this group to sort of take away is that when you when you when you start down the technology path, you don't have to take it all in one, right? Like it's not like building a hamburger. So that's a very American, Canadian American sort of thing. 
you know, it, it, like making a sandwich and you don't have to have all the toppings at once and like make this massive like stack of like, you know, you can start, you can start with just like, you know, the, the PMS piece. You can just start with, you know, smart locks. You can just start with, you know, smart thermostats. You can, and then as, as it as you want to grow your stack and you're starting to see the efficiencies and the ROI, you can add, you, it's like layer caking on top and on top, and you can really build a technology stack that runs, that works for you. And I think that that's like for us at Operto, like every time we sell, it's fully consultative. So we really get to know like what type of business are you trying to run? And then we will bring the technology partners in that enable that, that, that sort of end goal. Right. And so it's not about, and, and, and again, like, I think if, if folks at home are thinking this is thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds, it's absolutely not, you know, you're, you're looking at sort of, we, we like to keep it sort of under 1% of the, of, of sort of what you would generate off that property per month. Right. So it's, it's meant to be very affordable, but it does allow for scale. It allows for security. It allows for guest experience. And I think that, you know, dipping your toe in the pool is really how we sell here. It's not like here, take the whole thing, like, eat, like all you can eat buffet and let's go and plug it all in and it's all going to break. Right. For us, it's much more, you know, how can we, again, is it, are we going to start with noise monitoring? Sure. We can do that. If you want to start with the digital guest book, sure. We can do that. If you want super hog, we can literally just start with super hog. So again, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a journey. It's not like a, a, like, okay, here it goes. And like, off you go and good luck, you know, call us if something goes wrong. Like that's not how this works. Um, and whether that's you have one door, five doors, or five thousand doors, we pick up the phone and call you and understand your business, understand your end goals, and then and then we we plug in it from there. Yeah, I mean, I can uh, totally uh, you know see <laughs> that's exactly the same same way that that we operate, and and I think that's a very important thing to get across is that. Um, you know, if you're if you're moving from a you know a paper diary or a spreadsheet or um, or you know you've got a few properties and you're just thinking about how to automate some things, um, yeah, you don't have to learn everything all at once, and you don't have to spend thousands and thousands of pounds. But what you um, and companies like ours, Bookstar or Perto, whoever, they do want to talk to you because um, we we want to make sure that um you know you're you're set up and comfortable right at the start that uh that you're not uh, letting things run away from yourself or trying to take on too much um and that you understand you know what it is bookstore can do and maybe the things it can't do as well so you know it is you want to you know having these uh conversations with your you know with your technology providers and having just opening up a really constant dialogue, um, certainly right at the start is is really important um, uh, because that way you can you know it, it isn't actually that hard to get your foot in the door and uh, and, and start off. Thanks, Robin. Great point. What one thing that I'd add on to what you're saying, both of you actually as well, is let let's uh, let's not forget what a fantastic marketing tool it is as well right like and and how that can really just quite simply grow your owner base overnight because you are just you're, you're selling everything that you're doing in to that person who's who you're getting the property from let alone your guests but actually your supplier and say hey we are so much better than the competition because look at all these great features your guest is going to go wild your, your review scores are going to be better and the booking value and length of stay is going to go up yeah and there's no there's no doubt that there's a direct correlation between exactly what we've been talking about and longer stays, repeat bookings, direct bookings, uh, the ability to scale your portfolio if you're looking to add doors onto your, your 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 management company, this is the best, most efficient way to do so and to ensure that the guest has an amazing stay. I love it. Chaps, we, we are running out of time. I think we've sold all the vacation rental <laughs> industries, uh, many For sure. there, haven't we? Um, yeah. I was like therapy, I thought, actually. I was... <laughs> 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 um, uh, what well, one more you can tell me to naff off and that you're not interested in doing this that's totally fine are, are either of you willing to give me a couple of um vacation rental industry predictions for the coming year oh, well um i think uh, you know a lot of it is uh dependent on covid isn't it really <laughs> 
Um, so, I mean, it looks it looks like you know there seems to be a lot of confidence. There's a lot of, um, more bookings coming through Bookster uh, now, so there seems to be a lot of um, guest confidence. So, uh, I, I mean, I would just say um, I don't know how much of a prediction it is, but I think it, it it's lining up to be quite a good year for for holiday rentals. Certainly, certainly uh, in Scotland and the UK. So, yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, speaking with a little bit of a North American lens, but I think it's it's regardless. I think, you know, it's going to continue to be the hottest, fastest growing sector of the accommodation um, you know, world uh, as people look for um, non-hotel experiences uh, and sort of being able to travel with family, getting you know families together for, for holidays. Um, you know, though, I think that, that you're going to continue to see really strong growth. I think, you know, for for property owners in this space, it's 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 going to be interesting to see how they are able to sort of adapt their biz, adapt their businesses to this sort of changing traveler profile. Um, higher expectations of excellence, sort of almost hotel esque. Uh, expectations and 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 meet those expectations again through a lot of the things we were kind of talking about today. So you know, ensuring that that the guest ultimately it's all about the guest experience. It's all about you know, providing magic, um, you know, lightning in a bottle. Um, and I think that you know, if if we can get that right as as a as an industry, that we're in very very good um, in a very very good position to continue to see robust growth uh, and and really have an offering that is not COVID proof, but is, it is, um, it doesn't get as hammered by, by, by things like COVID as, as other um, accommodation verticals do. So. Great. Fantastic. Well, chats, we're, we're well and truly out of time. Um, stay with us. Robin and I will be going across to the live Q and A. Steve will be fast asleep somewhere in, uh, on the West coast somewhere. Um, and is it Sarah, Steve, from your team who's going to be helping? Yeah, you? Sarah's uh, uh, our, part of our team over in, in, in Ireland. Um, you know, so she, again, if this stuff interests you, please reach out to her. She's uh, very, very knowledgeable and can always jump on a plane and, and come visit and, and help you get going. So, um, yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bow out, but uh, you're in very, very capable hands with her. She's much smarter than I am. Uh, and yeah, we'll... Uh, We'll, we'll hopefully see all of you soon. And, and thanks for the opportunity to, to chat with you today. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, thank you, Steve, Robin. I'll see you in a second. Okay. That was amazing, guys. That really was like therapy. I'm, 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 I'm feeling utterly bamboozled and like I really need to pull my finger out and get some technology on the go. That was just really incredible session with, I think the key message there was, that using technology and automation can actually help you focus on building your business and not running your business. I thought that was a really fascinating um, quote. And also, given where we are with regulation, it's also really crucial to understand that prevention is better than the cure. So those were my two takeaways from the session, but really amazing. You've given us some really great takeaways to consider. Thank you. Quick question. We've had some in advance. We've got a couple on, on um, in the chat area. Sarah, thanks for joining us this morning. Um, some people might have concerns that technology can remove that level of personalization or connection with guests, but how do you think that technology can actually help instead? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is a question we get a lot. I know there's a lot of fear in adapting technology and fear that it will replace that human connection. But really, there's there's different things that we have and that we do that that do the opposite. One thing would be our, our guest portal and using that to connect with your guests. Unfortunately, with COVID, it has kind of made it a bit of a necessity to have less contact. So kind of right now that works. But yes, it's true. Some of the great things about Aperto and working with all these IoT devices is that you, you can reduce your labor. So maybe you don't even need a front desk anymore. But But really, we're not trying to go oh, get, you know, get rid of all your staff. That's, that's not what we're trying to say. Um, we have, we have one, one hotel in Toronto that we love, the Annex. And something they did is, is they started using Aperto and they realized that all of their transactional processes, so it's all the boring stuff that we're trying to tackle, um, was, was taken care of. So the, you know, the ID verification, like with Superhog. So when you arrive somewhere and have to give your ID and, you know, do all the boring check-in type of things that was all dealt with. So 
this hotel, instead of just getting rid of all their staff, they repurposed their, their front desk and turned it into a welcome lounge. So that's an example of where you can be creative. They just, now you get there and you can go, you already have your access code to your room, but um, you can just go and have a drink and there's still someone to ask for, where should I go to eat, get recommendations or leave your baggage. So that's, yeah, definitely. You don't need to be afraid of the technology. You can totally repurpose your staff and, and just have the boring stuff be taken care of. That's helpful. Uh, Robin, I'm loving your um, positivity about the, the um, season ahead. And I think we do need to focus on that. I think even if you're not seeing necessarily hundreds of bookings flooding in right now, it's still early days. It's still only just February. Um, and I think we are gonna see a massive, a huge surge of bookings in the near future once people kind of start getting that bit of confidence out of the Omicron um, variant element of this pandemic. So that's all good news, but we are, as um, we've had a question, we're seeing big fluctuations in demand right now with some cancellations for COVID reasons, but also high demand for breaks during the year. So what tools can support owners to deal with these different guest demands? It's a really good question. Yeah, that, that is a good question. I suppose going back to, um, uh, I think there is now a different, people are behaving differently um, uh, because of COVID. But I think there was a trend before COVID actually towards later booking. So people were, um, because they were getting used to uh, booking online or just being able to do it when they wanted to do it, there was a trend anyway towards later bookings. But I think COVID has accelerated that trend um, towards people waiting and hanging off and booking later, um, you know, waiting till they're much more familiar with what's, you know, what the rules are or the regulations are. Um, a, and I think in terms of, of dealing with, with or technologies to help deal with that kind of trend, um, you know, I suppose, um, uh, you know, obviously I would say allowing direct online bookings, it allows you to, um, you know, not always be on the phone or not, and not worrying about having to monitor your email so much and things like that. Um, and allowing for uh, last minute check-ins, so allowing remote check-in, whether it's, you know, the dreaded key box or, you know, a remote lock or something. It means that if you hadn't planned to be around or your staff or whatever hadn't been planned to be around, you can still give people access to the property and you can still uh, communicate all the things that you need to communicate. Maybe in a sort of guest area, you know, like Operto has or like Bookster has where, um, so so it requires less of you or your staff or, or, or you know, or, you know, someone to go and meet someone. So um, automating those things does help with, with a different booking profile as it were. Brilliant. We've got a question from Jasmine here. Does Bookster have the safety interface between my bank account and my bank, or do I still need something like a payo or holiday rental payment? Uh, yeah, well, we we support uh, Stripe, PayPal, and WorldPay and Opeo, essentially. So yes, you still need a payment a payment gateway to take payments. Okay, that's helpful. Thank you, Leo. Can you quickly explain what embedded insurance is? Yeah, sure. So um, we provide, as you know, guest advanced guest screening tools. But for us, um, guest screening tools sort of need to sit side by side with protection. Because ultimately, um, you know, you cannot screen out the fact that someone might have one too many white wine spritzers and then start um, dancing on the coffee table, perhaps. Um, that's just me on holiday, maybe. But um, the um, you need you, we, we definitely subscribe to this idea that prevention is better than cure and using guest screening will will stop the criminal, um, the the people who are deliberately coming to book parties and people who are going to stay in properties and, 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 and not use them the way they've said they will use them. Those people, I imagine, I mean, our data would suggest won't, won't come and stay in properties. So the average kind of incident rate is about 2% in vacation rentals. If you embed our technology, we can get that down to sort of, I think it's 0, 0. Um, 0. 0.4, 0. 0.3, 0. 0.4. So it's like a five-time reduction because that's obviously what, what how, how useful screening is. But there, that means there is still a small amount of damage that's happening when you have those incidents of accidental or un, you know not premeditated, but, but still damage. You need a protection in place. And Superhog has protection through our parent company, Guardhog, which is an insurance provider. So what that means is that we can offer 
property managers a guarantee and, and hosts ultimately you can offer your hosts a guarantee against damage up to three million pounds um, for anything that might happen in in the property and that's what we mean by embedded insurance so it's based on the fact that someone goes through our screening technology so the guest has to go through the screening technology and pass and if they fail that's because we're pulling data from our database that suggests that they've caused damage in a property somewhere else in the world, or they have failed the check for a fraudulent reason. So as long as they pass the screening, we'll then protect you um, up to three million trillion pounds for a damage or if they try and do a charge back. Um, but that's that that's what's meant by embedded insurance. It's not it's not like an insurance policy per se. It's that we can offer you that guarantee because our parent company is an insurance provider. Amazing. Okay, Leo, what do you think is the single biggest benefit to owners of automating their processes? Well, I think it was, I think it was discussed. Uh, I mean, I, I'm probably going to borrow words from either Robin or Steve on this more, more intelligent chaps. Um, I think it is that idea that, uh, and again, remember I come from the property management side. So I, I was part of the part of the team at One Fine Stay initially, and we were very, very, very good uh, as a team, I think, at acquiring London properties. So that was kind of our skill. And we were very good at getting homeowners to, 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 to give us their inventory. And I think that uh, lots of property managers that I know, one of their best skills is being able to grow their inventory and go and like make deals locally with property providers to get their hands on really good stock. So the more you, in, the more you automate processes that aren't particularly aren't particularly useful to you um you know the more freedom it gives you to then to that to then go and grow your business and then and obviously if you know from our point of view as well this is this is maybe just specifically answering the question with, with a super hob lens but it's that idea that it, it it should help you grow because you can go into your pitches with owners and suppliers and landlords and say look we're everything we're doing is is protected um with, with by super hog so why why wouldn't you work with us Okay, I know that you've got a hard stop at 12 o'clock, so I'm going to be super efficient here. I know that Superhog have got a special offer for ASSC members. Could you just give a little bit more detail on that? Yeah, so we uh, we provide our screening uh, screening and insurance, uh, embedded insurance policy um, uh, product as one. So that's sort of Superhog Pro. Um, and we're happy to for ASSC members to take away the cost of that for the first 60 days which means that any booking that happens doesn't have to be within those 60 days it could be a, a booking for the summer it, it, there'll be no charge and also if there's if there's an issue in it and we have to give you a payout or pay for a charge back or, or fraudulent booking of, of some nature we will we will pay for it and there'll be no cost to you that's amazing Thank you very much indeed. You're very generous. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, well, we're going to wrap it up, but I would suggest that anybody on this call, um, if you've got any further questions, please get in touch with the guys. You know, they, they're a wealth of information. And as you can see, they all work together. And I know you guys also work with Touchstay as well. So there's kind of loads of le levels of um, automation just to, you know, as you say, get the guest experience improving all the time. Thank you so much um, to anybody on this call. Don't forget that um, all of these uh, videos are available to SSC members in our library of resource. So do um, take a look back on, on past sessions because they're really, really super helpful and completely relevant whether they were filmed in 2020 or 2021 or this year. So thank you, Leo. Thank you, Robin. Thank you um, everyone for coming along today. Um, it's been brilliant. Really appreciate it and have a great afternoon. Take care. Thank you. Thank you.